hey, it's Goddess Go To here. Like you cares and she don't comment. It's August or er, July 9th, 2015. Like you give a damn. Um, just gonna play the slide show and have it go while we talk down with my notes on Surviving Big Brother. Like you give a damn. The only people that care is Melissa and Michael. Shout out to you two for to Melissa for talking to me, commenting on my group page, and then thanks to Michael for saying that my play-by-play -play is pretty awesome for the show. I'm probably going to stop doing those since no one wants to talk during the shows. I'll probably just let you know, like, who's on the block, who's battle, and that's about it, even though you know in these video spoilers. So, with that said, I'm in the HOH competition, Austin, and, uh, Victoria, I want to say it's Victoria, Vanessa, that's her name, Vanessa have won, and if all week I hear about, well, as a poker player, poker player, I'm a poker player, so as a poker player, poker player, I'm going to guide my eyes out, so she better not do that, I'm glad that day went home, with a vote of 72, and the three people that she chose, I don't understand why she chose them, but she chose Jackie, Jeff, and Becky, of all people. I don't know. She didn't really say after the thing. And she found out about the whole twin twist. And then tried to work out a deal with Liz. And it backfired. So anyway, let's get on with my notes. I had trouble doing the whole life show, I was trying to type and things were going wrong and my mouse was clicking like the wrong things and it was just being annoying. But Day is pissed off at Meg. Well, Day is, Day Bonnie is pissed off that Meg is a pawn and hates it. She's like, oh, Meg's a pawn, well, that sucks. Well, guess what? The, and I'm so sick of her, of Day going, in the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's like, what's worse, her? Her saying at the end of the day or her doing, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Good thing we don't have to hear any of those ever again. That's annoying. But she was like, Maggie, my friend and all, but secret, but you know, only one of us can win. So I'm sorry I'm going to have to campaign against you. Even though, on the live feeds that I've seen on YouTube, her butt has been lying. Because she s told Audrey, when she asked Audrey, why are you putting my name under the bus even though I'm going home? It's not going to benefit you and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I just want to let you know that I'm not campaigning against Meg. I told Meg I wasn't going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. That's a bullshit lie. And I don't know why it posted that twice, so yeah. I'm just going to delete one of those. Okay, Day lied about not going to... Okay, we already talked about that. Oh yeah, the phone booth came along, and the whole time it was Kathy Griffin saying mean things to the house guests. Well, Clay wanted number seven, and Day was rude and didn't want to give Clay number seven, and so Day was the one that got the power to pick three people. I kind of wish that she tried to play it off, and then Clay found out, it's like, she, she's got the power, because if she's got the power, she's going to pick me, and she's got it. That's why she's changing her mood in the house. Cause she thinks she's gonna stay with this power, and yeah, that's just dumb. 
And Audrey, you're a bullshit fucking liar. Stop lying. It gets on my freaking nerves. Send her packing this week, guys. Don't worry about Liz and the twin thing. Just send her packing. Because she was all like, in the diary, she, okay, it showed a clip of Day asking Audrey, let's work together because you're the only ally in the house. Ooh, nobody likes you, but I can swing things to get my way. I'm good at that, which is a lie, lie, lie. And then Audrey's like, well, I have nobody else in the house, so I'll take it. And then in the diary room, she's like, yeah, I'm going to work with Day. But then in the diary room, in the diary room, y'all, like, I'm going to vote to evict Meg. Yet, you've been telling lies about Day all the time on the live feeds, which it, they should have showed on the show. Like, throwing her under the bus trying to get her home. Just like you were doing with Jace, and then you vote the opposite. I don't understand you, Audrey. I just don't understand you. But, uh, the phone booth thing was kind of funny. It was kind of like, um... Oh, I want to call it night bot, but that's not what it's called. The bot that usually comes into the house. And I didn't understand why Day got the power, but she's like, Oh, I can use this power for my advantage and stay in the house. Well, how did you use it wrong? Because you're gone. And then why would you tell Jason about it? Like, that's dumb. Clay knows Dave. Oh yeah, some Rob guy from like the Sugar Bowl or Super Bowl football thing. He came in and did a takeover. He's all like, the takeover is going to be. We're going to have a party because I love parties. But in this party, we don't have have nots in the party. This week, there's going to be no have nots. I don't know what all this means, but. No, they won't take it. Whatever. And then it shows Liz and Julie switching. And they knows they're twins and that there's a twin space. And instead of keeping it to her damn self, she tells Jason and Jason tells everyone else. And then they all freak out. And they go over to the memory board and they, they're like, this, she's like, one is, is thick and one is Skinny. One is rude and one is nice. One is with Austin all the time. And one likes to be lazy and tan. The other one likes to work out. Like, the fat one likes to work out. Because she doesn't like how she looks. And they just kept going back and forth, back and forth about her. And I'm just like, the reasons you think she's a twin are stupid. They're dumb. But, then again, you are right. But I remember seeing a live feed where they were going through the memory board, checking out, and finally the production was just like, Stop that! Like, you're getting annoying. Go away. And I thought they threw this whole... I don't know. I just thought they did all this twin... No, not twin. The whole giving Day the power because they want to keep her in the house because drama equals ratings. But you know what? I knew the show wasn't rigged anyways. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, um, Julie got to vote tonight, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, I'm trying to see what else I have here. Oh yeah, the voting went. Jason got to go first and he voted for Meg. Clay voted for Day, John voted for Day, Audrey voted for Meg, then Austin voted for Day, Liz, I mean Julia, voted for Day, Vanessa voted for Day, James voted for Day, Steve voted for Day, so bye bye Day. Seven and two, Day, you're gone. And what the fuck was Meg wearing? Like, what the fuck? And then they said, shout out to Devin, shout out to Devin. Like they're saying that Dave's like Devin, but no, Audrey's like Devin. I don't understand the whole shout out to Devin bullshit. And then Dave was like, 
talking with Julie the whole time, crying her eyes out, like, what the fuck? Then they played uh, beer pong, kind of, sort of, with numbers instead of liquid. And so Liz, I mean Julie, I got to go first, which she got 23, John got 0, Jackie got 0, James got 23, Audrey got 17, Clay got 6, Jeff got 14, Becky got 0, Austin got 28, and Jason got 0, and May got 0, Steve got 0, and Vanessa got 28. There was two 23s and two 28. Now, I was having complications writing this up down because my Facebook was being retarded and going to a different page and all this bullshit. I was trying to write it down on paper and blah, blah, blah. But I don't understand how in the second round, Liz got to go first. I mean, Julia. And it was 22, James 35, Vanessa 52. How, so, how is Austin HRH and Vanessa it? when Austin and Vanessa got the same points, they both got 28, plus James got 35, so wouldn't that bump the 28, period? Then again, they're doing second round, so James should have been the HOH with Vanessa. Let me know in the comments below how I missed that. I'm going to try and rewatch watch this sh that part to see what I missed. But, I don't understand it myself. But, anyways, I just got done watching Team Mom 2 as well. But, anyways, I gotta get going. I will talk to you people later. And, yeah. That's all for the show. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep continuing these because... Or see you on Saturday for the spoilers. Or maybe Friday night for the spoilers. Because, what the fuck? I mean, nobody's commenting letting me know or saying at least saying thanks for the video it helps but then again i guess you don't want a shout out because if, if you wanted to shout out you would fucking do it anyways i'm gonna go back and watch zoobilee zoo which is a really cool show if you don't know what it is look it up on youtube it's awesome anyways bye <laughs>